Hi, Demi Jack here. Now today we're talking about Battlefield 2042 as there is some interesting news about it. I actually saw this story when I woke up today. However, as you may have known, Battlefield 2042 is made by DICE, which is owned by EA. They're adding a Santa Claus skin, or well, were. There's actually a lot of controversy around this topic. However, the this skin wasn't well taken. We're going to have a look at what this skin looks like and all this stuff. Why it was removed. Because as far as I know right now, it was removed. So let's get into it. First off, here's a picture of the skin. As you can see, it, it's essentially Battlefield 2042 Santa. As you can see, Legendary Father of Winter. It's obviously a skin from one of the um, specialists. Now, I did criticize in my review that there weren't enough base game skins however we'll find out in, later in this video why as you may have already guessed now battlefield 2042 has had a rough reception disappointment over design changes and technical issues have led to rams of negative player reviews yet on steam on steam it doesn't have reviews on the other platforms amid all that a lack of yesterday revealed a santa claus skin that was planned for the game's next big update it's not it actually hasn't been released but, yeah, it didn't go down well, as it says. Now it seems that Santa Claus is no longer coming to town, with Dice saying it has no plan to utilize the skin this holiday or Christmas if you live in Australia. We, we use the word Christmas. Now, the plan was revealed by the Battlefield Bulletin Twitter, with other images in the post also showing rains, reindeer themed tanks and helicopters. And as they see, some players weren't happy with one of the more upvoted Reddit comments in capitalizing feeling in the community. As it says here, Dice expects me to be able to take this game seriously with literal Santa Claus running around shooting people in what's supposed to be a world where billions are displaced, natural disasters are destroying the planet, and is about to be a massive world proxy war. Yeah, and he's fighting in the world proxy war. And we're supposed to take all that into account with Santa acting Claus running around the bat on the battlefield. Yeah, he, he has a point there, you can't take it serious with Santa Claus. Now, other comments complained that the game was desperately trying to mimic Call of Duty. Well, one Mr. Herc, sorry if I mispronounced your name, but let's get into it. We lost passes so they could sell skins for these ridiculous operators. Yes, yeah, some of the operators are ridiculous. Now, the reactions to the skins reveal a couple of sticking points. First are technical issues. Particularly its CPU dependency and the idea that the developers are working on skins didn't sit well. Fix your bugs and issues. Don't make skins. Just hold off on making skins. You can make money later. Now secondly, the Santa skin is seen to represent the overly light-hearted demeanor of the game's operators. Which some players complain is dissonant with its theme of global conflict, eco-disaster and failed states. As summed up quite assumingly by this reddit post really. the counterpoint is that even when it takes place in during historic worlds battlefield has never been particularly serious remember when they did a battlefield 5 and everyone made fun of it for women fighting in world war 2 now i'm gonna be honest some women did fight in world war 2 but it wasn't like women were fighting everywhere and second thing um the woman that was the main character had a hook for a hand, so yeah. Now, DICE acknowledged complaints on Twitter saying that they work months in advance to support a live service game like Battlefield 2042, suggesting these skins have been ready for a while. The developer also said that it will sometimes create unique commod cosmetic skins for single time use in Portal, the custom mode section of Battlefield 2042, where goofy gameplay types are possible. Yesterday, EA announced that a new Battlefield yeah, I was actually going to talk about this yesterday, but I axed the video. Over here, Respawn co-founder Vince Zimpala. The series is growing, growing out into a Battlefield universe. That a new Seattle universe studio will be expanding the narrative, storytelling, and character development opportunities in the Battlefield series, taking long-term visions that didn't seem terribly advisable with the current game is going through something of a crisis. But I imagine it won't be long before the inter internet lets us know what it thinks. So yeah, that, that's basically the summary of um, yesterday's story that I was going to do. Glad I didn't do that story now. As I said, about the Santa skin, which is today's story. Personally, I think EA and DICE should not, and I repeat, should not sell us skins while there is massive issues with the game. Now, I know they have to make money. I know they have to make money. 
but they should do a No Man's Sky with this game. They should totally do a No Man's Sky. Just revamp the game. Revamp the game, make it better. And yes, I am a pro advocate in this game of adding voice chat. Yeah, you may get some toxic people gone, saying stuff, but that's the side effect of voice chat. And my reason for adding voice chat is, and I'm gonna say this right now, is this is a competitive game and a team-based game. You need voice chat for a competitive and team-based game. It's not, you need to communicate with your team and most of the time tax is not good on this type of game because you're busy fighting and shooting people and you can't stop to type something in specifically if you're on console for this and you happen to get shot while you're typing. I do think EA is going for the money with the skin and it is good that they pulled the skin back. Now yes, this game was meant to be a live service game. Now if you don't know what the term live service is, it's a term EA used it basically means microtransactions. Now, if you don't know what microtransactions are, I'm being really explanatory with this, is that microtransactions are paid for features in the game like cosmetics. Cosmetics are like skins, like this, and also weapon skins, tank skins, as we saw. It's all good that they pulled the skin. I don't think they need to sell skins. Now, I don't know if they were going to sell us the skin or it was going to be part of the season pass. I really don't know. The article seems to frame it that they were going to sell us the skin. Personally, I think the skin should have been free. There should be no microtransactions till they've fixed all the problems. Fix all of your problems, then sell me stuff. I don't care. Fix all of the problems. There is a whole list of problems with this game, from unfinished features to completely unfinished game, missing features like scoreboards and voice chat. And I think it would be a good idea to work on those, because let's be honest, skins take away time from working on actual stuff, like fixing your game. It actually takes time away. That. And his skin was worked on in advance, so it was obviously worked on during the production of Battlefield 2042. And that skin, which is now not being used, took time away from development of the game when it could have been f for a skin that wasn't going to get used in the end because it got ridiculed. Let that sink in. They're not even using the skin anymore, they have no plans now to use the skin from what I said. Basically, they spent time in development making that skin when they could have spent that manpower on development. Let that sink in. I hope you enjoyed this news story today. I will see you all next week as this is the final video for this week. We got free. We got free. I, I really only want to do free to like five a week. That's really all I want to do now. Free, I'm happy. I'm focusing over quality, over quantity now in case you haven't seen my update video I recommend you check out my update video if you haven't seen it it explains where I was last week and all that stuff so I'll see you all later this is Demi Jack as always signing out I'll see you next time this is Demi Jack as always signing out also remember to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you all next time